My friends and my family know, of course, like all of us, many details in our lives. So when I was younger growing up, one of my subjects of choice was math. And as I continue to grow and love math, it also gave me a deep understanding to treasure the details in all that I do, not just in the equations, but uh, in general. And so looking at the details was something that I really enjoyed, actually. And so I wanted to share with you a little detail about the solemnity that we celebrated yesterday, which was the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. Have you ever wondered why we celebrate Immaculate Conception on December 8th? Probably not, but at least for me, again, attention to the details, I always wondered why we celebrate the Immaculate Conception on December 8th or the various different feast days and solemnities that we have a little bit later in my life, particularly as a seminarian, as you, you know, continue to learn about how these beautiful traditions are a beautiful part of our faith. And so again, why do we celebrate the Immaculate Conception on uh, December 8th? We can't not talk about the Immaculate Conception without talking about the birth of Mary. And so, if we look at the birth of Mary, it is on September 8th. Now, we do the math there, look at the details. The amount of months from December 8th to September 8th is how many months? Nine months. Now, for parents, that is a very valuable and understood number quite a bit in parenthood. And with that being said, the nine months is the amount of time in how, how much a child grows in the womb and how a child is brought to full term in the womb at nine months. So again, we go back to the Immaculate Conception, which is December 8th, to the birth of Mary is September 8th. And so we look at that in itself, and that's the beauty of why we celebrate the Immaculate Conception on December 8th itself. With that being said, a lot of times it can be also confused on what the celebration of Immaculate Conception is. And actually it's a very, I would say, even normal misunderstanding of the Immaculate Conception or the feast day. The feast day or the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception actually is not about the conception of Jesus, but it's the conception of Mary. Jesus, who is God, who is the Son of God, who is all-knowing, all-powerful, and the source of all holiness, needed to come through a vessel that is without sin. And so we understand in our faith, the dogma, the doctrine, the beauty, and the teaching of the church is that Jesus came through Mary. Mary, who is without sin, and that's what we celebrate on the Solemnity of Immaculate Conception. And so now seeing all those beautiful details in that beautiful solemnity, I'm drawn to reflect upon, as I mentioned, the beautiful traditions of the church, of what we celebrate on this day of the Immaculate Conception. But I'm also drawn into reflecting on my own traditions as well in my family, particularly Christmas traditions. As we see, we're just a few weeks away, which is providentially beautiful that the Immaculate Conception happens to fall within the month of December and a lot of times in the season of Advent in where we prepare our hearts to receive the Lord into our home. And so the one tradition I wanted to share with you is in our family, uh, as like many families, we have the tree, we have preparing for dinner, we have gathering the families, we go to mass, you know, on Christmas Eve. So all these different traditions. But I want to share with you a tradition that I actually did not uh, like so much, which was the cleaning. Our parents would actually have us, my brother and I, clean the whole home prior to Christmas Eve and sometimes on Christmas Eve day itself. And now, as you can imagine, as a youth or a teenager, you know, we're trying to get ready for the holidays. I want to soak in all the holidays. And the last thing I want to do is clean. But that's what we had to do. And so with my parents, it was very much important that we do that. And at the time, I obviously didn't understand why we did that. But as I grew older and matured, I understood that my mom was telling us that the reason why we clean our home is on one level to prepare for the beautiful feast day of Christmas, the solemnity of Christmas, but also at the same time to prepare Jesus into our hearts. That even though that we uh, clean the home to be able to have dinner, to be able to have a nice home, to celebrate this beautiful feast and beautiful party, but it was also a reminder for us that we prepare our home to have Jesus come into our home. And so my dear friends, on this 
solemnity that we just celebrated yesterday, the Immaculate Conception, did you or did you think about how you are preparing your home to receive the Lord in your heart? How are you continuing to be a vessel you know, to others in the world, a vessel of Jesus to others in the world? May you continue to see how treasured that you are and that even though we're not worthy to receive him, but with God's word, we are healed and that we can be able to bring that to the world. So my dear friends, as we concluded the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, how are you preparing your hearts to receive the Lord into your heart, but then at the same time being a vessel of Jesus to others in the world that is so in need of your love, your faith, and your hope?